Hey guys, welcome back to Ganji Plans. Uh, I'm Rebecca. I'm Ganji, creator of Ganji Plans Printables. And I could not be bothered to clean my office today. It's been one of those weeks, but I have got new inserts to show you. So the first video of every month, I like to go through the inserts that I released the previous month and give you some background to their design, what I was thinking when I was making them, and basically to give you some ideas on how you can use them in your own system. So today's video, I'm going to be going over all the inserts that were released in November 2021, and they're all monthly inserts this month. So the very first insert for this month is this uh, month dated monthly dashboard. Um, this is available for all of 2022, and it is a freebie. So as a result, I'm not going to apologize for things. If you wanted it on the left hand page, you're going to have to get creative. Um, but as you see, it's actually printed. So it's only for the right hand page. And so we're not wasting paper. Um, it'll print like upside down for every other month. So you just cut it up and you can use these as the, uh, like a cover page for a monthly section. I have this set up for the beginning of my December and uh, I think it looks pretty good. It's pretty blank. Um, so you could either choose to embellish it if you feel artistic or if you don't, like me, uh, you can choose to just leave it blank. And I think it looks kind of classy and nice by itself as well. So uh, there you go. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, and as I said, it is free. So come on over. Insert 60 is the next one here. It is a um, monthly habit tracker. Not anything uh, crazy. You will have seen something similar to this in a lot of different shops, but I thought I should have something like this. Um, in the pocket size here, it's a trifold. In every other size, though, it's actually just a two, uh, just like one flap out. Uh, so I guess a bifold. And yeah, you just you put your habit on one side and then there are one through 31 all the way across and you can keep track of things or use it to. These are great for making graphs and charts and stuff, too, if you wanted to track something or um, like instead of tracking one habit, yes, no, um, you could, you know, I've, I've done like uh, low, medium, high uh, or something like that or up to how many of something you got done over the course of a month. Then insert 61 is a undated monthly. I thought we needed more undated monthlies in the shop. So that is what this month was all about. Um, so this first one here has a lovely grid on the one side. And then, so this is for your, uh, the current month. There's room on top. You can't see this, but once you cut it to be the right dimensions, uh, there's room on top for to write the month here. Um, and then yeah, you fill in the dates for the current month. And then these are the right size for, um, last month and next month, with a little bit of space to write those as well. Uh, I left it blank. So if you wanted to write, you know, November and January, you could do that, or you could just write last month, next month or whatever you want to do. And then room for goals. This is kind of an overview. Um, I know a lot of people will like to look at sort of a glance and see what date falls when. Um, if you're always referencing a calendar, it's nice to have this handy. Then on this side, it's pretty streamlined. You've got events on one side, tasks on the other. And then these two are kind of free form. So if you felt like you had a whole bunch of events or a whole bunch of tasks, you could just keep going down the next column. Or you could use it for anything. You know, you could use it for specific lists for a project or for, you know, a category of something. So they are, uh, again, unlabeled. So this can be pretty open ended to use uh, however you see fit. You don't even have to use these as many months if you don't want to, uh, because nothing's labeled, so anything can be anything. Insert 62 is a month on one page. I did a couple of these. Uh, I liked that idea of trying to challenge myself to fit everything on one page. So what we have here is a uh, mini month. So you just fill in, you know, a tiny little calendar here so that you know what day of the month everything is. This is the one I actually used for my monthly plan with me video last week. Was that last week? I think it was. So there's space here to write the month, um, fill in, you know, the dates, set a couple of goals for yourself. Then all of your events go here and you can reference, you know, what day of the week everything is. Then a section just for notes uh, and a section for next month. So you keep things, uh, you can use this as like a dashboard for your month as you go. And then space for tasks. Um, yeah, I'm using this so far. I mean, I'm 
only a little way into the month, but so far so good. I'm liking it. Then insert 63 is monthly tasks. So this is the same kind of idea as the insert. I don't remember which number it is off the top of my head, but it was available at lunch. So it's less than 25. Um, the last time done log or the um, like recurring tasks log, I think is what it says on top. Uh, so the idea is you put something here like change sheets and then, you know, how often you want to do it or uh, I don't know, as I know I'm probably the outlier who only makes a goal to change your sheets once a month. Uh, but basically you put the last, you, there's room in, in each column for each month for a two digit date. So you can say, okay, um, I changed my toothbrush on the 10th of J January. And so I do that every three months and you know, do it here or for things that you do every single month. Um, you could use it just to say like, okay, the last time I changed my oil was this date. And it's like more visual this way, I think, than the, um, the last time done log. So I'm going to use both of them next year. Um, I think I will use this one for any task that has to be done like once a month or once every so many months and then use the other one, which has like the math, you know, it's like a section. It's like, okay, how often and last time done, next time done. Um, that I will use for things that are not on a month divisible schedule. So like I changed my razor blade every six weeks. So that is just going to be different. Um, but that way I won't fill up that one as quickly. This one will last, you know, all year potentially. And then also notice, uh, let's see, January right here and here. So you can, when you print it out, you get to choose whether you want it to be an open spread like this or whether you want it front and back like this. Um, I generally prefer this one, but you know, you do you and you get to decide at the end of June whether you're going to continue these habits or not because you write them out again on the next page. That way you don't have to go flipping around to find what each column actually represents. So there you go. And then one more is another month on one page. This one's a bit more streamlined than the other one, busy looking. Um, I think that this one would be fantastic if you wanted to really stretch out, spread your, spread your legs a little bit and enjoy a future log. Um, you could do, you know, print out 12 of these back to back because it's uh, just got a little space for some events uh, down here. You can use this column to fill in the day of the week if you like. Um, I should have started on the left side. Again, space to write the name of the month and then a little mini calendar and a couple of goals and then tasks. There's room for more tasks on this one. And then you've got, you know, the, the whole column here. Um, on the pocket size, this is shrunk a little bit. These lines are like three point something millimeters instead of four millimeters. So that's why it doesn't line up here. If you were wondering. Um, and that's basically... Yeah, if there's not a lot to this one. It's what you see is what you get. But I think in its simplicity, it could be really useful uh, for a lot of things. Um, I, I think these month on one pages are a great option to like to add a few different inserts that you like to one monthly setup. So like first you put your dashboard and then you've got, you know, a month on one page, uh, you know, like this one. And then you have like a some sort of specialty to do list or you've got your monthly habit tracker as part of that. Um, to have like a, a section that's your monthly setup, combining a couple different things to make it uniquely your own. So I hope you like all of these. So I hope some of those piqued your interest. Um, I am definitely excited to use them in my own system and try out a couple of the different styles, see what I like the best. Um, let me know down, down in the comments which one you're the most excited to be using for your monthly planning. Um, check out the shop. There are links in the description to each of them as well as timestamps um, so you can go back and look at each one individually. And I will see you guys in the next video on Thursday. If you're not subscribed yet, please do hit that subscribe button and ring the bell if it's the kind of thing that you do. Um, because I post videos every Thursday about my planner system. So you can see it all in action and uh, see where I'm coming from and uh, get an idea for this whole thing. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you in the next video on Thursday. Bye.